You may find it hard to believe, but I struggled with a masturbation addiction for 50 long years. Five decades of my life entangled in the relentless grip of an addiction that seemed impossible to shake off. It was a battle, a long, grueling one. This addiction, it touched every aspect of my life, like a shadow that never leaves. My relationship suffered, my self-esteem plummeted. It was like being stuck in a never-ending storm with no sight of clear skies. I tried to fight it, oh, how I tried. I sought help from therapists, pored over countless self-help books, even attended group therapy sessions. But every attempt was like a flickering candle in a gale, extinguished before it could even begin to shed light on my path. It was a cycle of hope and despair, of trying and failing. I tried everything from therapy to self-help books, but nothing seemed to work, until I found these ten methods. The first step I took was to renew my faith in God. Now let me tell you, faith is not a crutch for the weak, it's a source of power, a beacon of hope, a balm for the soul. It's a way to connect with something larger than ourselves and find our place in the grand scheme of things. In my darkest hours, I found solace in prayer and religious texts. I discovered a peace that was both comforting and empowering. It was like a lantern in the midst of a storm guiding me towards the shore. Belief, my friends, is a potent force. It can move mountains, it can calm tempests, and yes, it can help overcome addictions. It's about surrendering to something greater, about finding strength in vulnerability. It's about realizing that we are not alone in our struggles. Now don't forget to subscribe to the Alpha Notion YouTube channel if you find my story inspiring. Belief was just the beginning. I discovered nine more steps that were key to my recovery. After I anchored my faith, the journey was far from over, but I was equipped with a newfound strength. The next step was finding a supportive community. There's a certain power in being surrounded by people who understand your struggle, who've walked in your shoes. It's in these connections that I found the courage to continue, even on the days when it felt impossible. Then I had to shift my focus towards self-care. It's strange how we often forget to give ourselves the same kindness and compassion we so easily extend to others. I started by setting aside time each day to do something I enjoyed, something that made me feel good about myself. It could be as simple as reading a book or taking a walk in the park. This led me to the next step, finding new hobbies. Replacing old habits with new healthier ones is a powerful tool in addiction recovery. I took up gardening, painting, even cooking. These activities not only filled my time, but also gave me a sense of accomplishment, of creating something beautiful out of nothing. I also learned the importance of setting achievable goals. It's easy to get overwhelmed when you're looking at the big picture, but breaking it down into smaller, manageable tasks made the journey seem less daunting. Every little victory, every day, without giving in to temptation, was a step closer to my ultimate goal. Then, there were the steps of practicing mindfulness, developing a positive mindset, understanding my triggers, seeking professional help, and finally, maintaining consistency. Each of these steps, each day, each moment was a battle, but it was a battle I was willing to fight. It's important to remember that recovery is not a linear process. There will be setbacks, there will be days when you falter, when the old habits seem to be creeping back in. But remember, it's not about how many times you fall, it's about how many times you get back up. Each of these steps played a crucial role in my journey to recovery. Overcoming this addiction has opened a new chapter in my life. It's as if a heavy fog has lifted, revealing a world of vibrant colours I had forgotten existed. My relationships have blossomed, nurtured by newfound honesty and vulnerability. I've rekindled bonds that once seemed irreparable, and form connections deeper than I ever thought possible. My self-esteem has soared, no longer shackled by the shadows of guilt and shame that once loomed over me. I stand taller, I speak louder, I live bolder. I am no longer a prisoner in my own life, but the author of it. The quality of my life has improved immeasurably. I wake up each day with a purpose, a zest for life that wasn't there before. I've become a beacon of hope for those around me, a testament to the power of perseverance and strength of character. I hope my story can inspire others to overcome their own struggles. But remember, we don't have to fight these battles alone. 
Embrace the power of unity. Encourage others to rise above by sharing this video. Please like this video, share it, and subscribe to the Alpha Notion YouTube channel. Together we can overcome anything.